Hello and welcome to The Man with Descent. I am The Man and the scent that I will be reviewing today is the Stylophone S2. I got my hands on this piece of hardware by a bit of an accident. I pre-ordered it from an online retailer and apparently by mistake they sent me a pre-release version uh, because the final product won't be available till uh, the end of April. So I can use this to make my first exclusive review of a hardware piece. Uh, we'll start with a few words about the build quality. It's almost all metal, steel and machined uh, aluminum, uh, knobs are plastic but are nicely mounted, not much wobbling here. Uh, there is a 3 octave print circuit keyboard, uh, also print circuit touch surfaces for functions. Uh, this is the speaker of the unit. Uh, it doubles as a, a status display. Let me just show you. Oh, yeah. This shows the LFO. Uh, and other things like the volume and stuff. Yeah, there is this internal speaker that you can use for practice. This is the main output, monophonic quarter inch jack. Uh, there is a headphone output, crappy as usual on synths. Uh, line input, CV gate interface if you want to control it from an external keyboard. On the other side there is a 9 volt AC input, power button, tune button and volume up and down. Uh, on the back here is a battery compartment for batteries and here's the stylus. This is a fully analog scent as far as the signal path goes. Um, it's got two oscillators, uh, an LFO, uh, attack sustain release envelope, and a multi-mode filter and a few extra features. Let's start with the oscillators. There are two of them. The first two knobs can be used to dial the second oscillator detune and level. There are several wave shapes, currently we are using Sawtooth and with this touch button you can change it to Pulse. As you can hear the third knob is used to change the pulse width. You can also use something called the invert square or pose. And a mixed square and salt tooth. We're back to the sawtooth, as you can see this uh, speaker thing also works as a status display for the buttons. So another oscillator thing is that this synth has got a big selection of sub-oscillators. They are enabled using the second uh, touchpad. Mm -hmm. 
another nice feature is ring modulator. Maybe it doesn't sound that nice in this frequency range. It's got several different ring modulation algorithms that sound a bit different. I think the string modulator is a really nice feature of this synth, especially if you combine it with the filter. Mm. The filter is a multi-mode, you change the mode using those two pads. This is enabling the low pass. This pad enables the high pass mode. If you enable both, both you get a uh, band pad. both disabled you get a weak notch filter if you sweep it you can hear it but it uh, affects the sound in a very weak way there is resonance but, but as you can hear the filter is not self-oscillating. Here is the envelope. It can open and close quite slow. probably a bit too much for, mo for most sounds but it's nice that this range is available those four pads and these three knobs are used for setting up the third oscillator which is an LFO and in fact it's uh, one hell of an LFO let me demonstrate um, with this uh, pad, last pad, you change the, uh, uh, the modulation destination, which can be uh, oscillator 1 frequency, 2 frequency and uh, amplifier. Oscillator 1 and amplifier, only amplifier, only the oscillators, only oscillator 1. Um, so let's keep it to the oscillators and you dial the frequency here and this knob is used for the modulation depth. As you can hear, the LFO will very nicely go into the audio range with a true analog LFO. And that's not all, because this 
part is used to control the LFO range. So this is from wide range to low frequencies, mid frequencies, high frequencies. So in low frequencies we get In the mid frequencies you get a range of it is it goes to lower audio range and in high frequency mode You go way up into the audio frequency range and you can do a real nice FM, AM and over. You can modulate the cutoff frequency on the filter. This is the wide frequency range. It encompasses all the three other. Let's go into the low frequency range. And let me show you now the various uh, LFO shapes. This is the sign. The other is the, uh, not this part, this part, and another is the triangle. Then there is sort of. and falling and then you've got I think random no this is square this is random and you also got the staircase, which sounds uh, similar to sine wave for salt tooth. Unless you do it at a low frequency. The nice thing is that you can sync the LFO to the start of the note. So this will sync uh, the start of the wave to the start of the note. So whenever you play note it starts always the same way. This sounds especially interesting if you do this sweep. can also change it to start from the uh, 180 degrees phase. Or to alternate.
probably it will sound better if we add some filter modulation, not only uh, oscillator frequency. And if you want to go really crazy, you can enable the ring modulator, pick the destination to be only one of the oscillators, and turn it up a bit. that you've seen uh, the basic features of the new stylophone you can start forming some opinions about it uh, thinking what kinds of sounds could be interesting to create on it the things I like the most about it are the ring modulator especially the multiple algorithms this gives you this little bit of extra choice when tweaking the sound and I absolutely love the LFO. Good work Dabrek on this thing. I really hope that type of LFO will catch on in all the analog synths. I would probably love to have it as a module for the modular system. It's really nice. Uh, overall this synth is quite interesting, it is quirky, uh, it's sure something that will raise a few eyebrows when you uh, use it on stage or uh, I don't know in a YouTube video. Um, so yeah, this is all for now. Uh, you can request uh, sounds uh, that you would like to me to try to achieve on this scent in the comments. Uh, next week I will do a sound demo uh, with what I find interesting, what you want to hear. Uh, so yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.